Imagine coming across a coin collection and having one of the coins be worth over $100,000. From time to time, that's a real life example. That actually happens. Now the last thing you wanna do is come across a coin that you think is only worth a penny, but in reality, it's worth a lot more money. If you stay until the end, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to be looking out for on your cent coins and why these coins brought so much money. Without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the video. So up first, we have a 1942 one cent coin. This one was graded by NGC see a proof 67 red cameo. So immediately, if you have a 1942 coin that looks like this, it's very shiny, you could have something that's worth a lot of money. This one sold for $17,625. Really quick, remember the highest grade we can get in grading is 70. This is only a few points away. This also was graded as a proof. That means during the minting process, they wanted this to be a proof coin. So it is very shiny, lustrous. It looks like a mirror backdrop there. So again, if you have a coin that looks like this, you want to keep it safe, don't damage it because every little nick and gash and damage mark will decrease the value significantly. Up next, we have a 1911 S one cent coin graded by PCGS, a mint state 66 red. Now when I say red, that means that the company PCGS signified that the overall luster and color of the coin is red. Your coin can come in three different varieties. It's either red, red, brown, or brown. And that's important because there are collectors out there that want all three of those. For a coin that's over 100 years old, a 66 grade is incredibly challenging. This one has the S mint mark there underneath the date. That means this coin was struck at the San Francisco Mint. Generally speaking, the San Francisco Mint has coins that are more valuable. That's because they, on average, produce less coins than any other mint. But this coin sold for $25,300. That's right, $25,300. Here's a great coin. So this is a 1969 S one cent double tie obverse coin graded by PCGS, a 58 it CAC. All right, so a few things going on here. So first of all, 58 is an almost uncirculated grade. That's one of the lower grades we've seen in this video. And in general, honestly, the mint state grade is what you want to be seen. And you can tell the coin is almost uncirculated by the nicks and gashes and overall wear of the coin. That didn't stop this coin from selling for $28,800 though, but let's continue as to why it sold for so much. So this has a very apparent doubling happening there. You can see at the motto at the top, Liberty left and the date at the right there has a very apparent and obvious doubling happening. That's considered a mint error and something you want to be looking at for on your coins. So sometimes that doubling is going to be a lot less dramatic and obvious. So you're going to want to get some sort of magnification to see the doubling happening there. Lastly, this has a CAC sticker. So CAC is another third party company that once the coin is graded in a slab, you will send your coin off to CAC to get this little sticker on the slab. That little sticker can increase the value dramatically upwards of 40% at times. So it is a incredibly worth it. And remember, when you're getting your coins graded or sent off to CAC, there's a balance there because you're going to spend one, you're going to spend money for the service and two, you're going to spend time. The faster you get your coin back, the more money you're going to pay for that specific service. But it is worth sending your coin off to get graded only if it's going to grade highly. That's very important. Don't waste your time or money if your coin is not valuable enough to be graded. But again, this coin's over $28,800. Here's another one of my favorite coins. So as you can tell, I have a lot of favorites, but this one is from 1922 and it's a no D mint marked coin. This has a strong reverse and graded by PCGS, a mint state 64. So what I mean by strong reverse is the obverse is the front of the coin, the reverse is the back. And these coins can come with a strong reverse. That means that it was struck very nicely and it is crisp and sharp on the back of the coin. But the reason why this coin sold for $34,500 is mainly because it is missing that D mint mark near the date there on the front of the coin. And again, just because your coin has a few nicks and gashes does not mean it's not going to be worth a lot of money because again, this coin sold for $34,500. Now, if you have a penny and you want to know exactly how much it's worth, I offer a service on my channel. You can hit the join button and join the silver membership. You can cancel at any time, but essentially you can send me pictures of your coins and I'll tell you what to do with them. But you really don't have to do that. But this coin right here is a 1916D one cent coin graded by PCGS, a mint state 67 red, and it sold for $50,400. And here's why. So honestly, when it comes to these really old coins, this one's from 1916, not much matters outside of this grade. It graded at a mint state 67. That's an astronomical grade for this date. There's not many coins from 1916 that can grade this highly. And that's the main reason why this coin sold for $50,400. Here's a 1926S one cent Lincoln penny graded by PCGS, a mint state 65 red. Now again, this coin is almost 100 
100 years old. And it's also important to remember when the coins sell. The market conditions are very important. If you have an incredibly rare coin like the 1926S coin and it's in really high condition, the market's going to play less of a factor generally speaking. But for example, if you were to sell your coins during a market crash like in 08 or 09, your coin's going to be worth a lot less money than if you were to sell it in, for example, earlier 2021 when the market was really high. It's still generally high right now, but it's really hard to say for sure. But this coin right here sold for $149,500. Hit that subscribe button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next video.